use the force. Okay, now I'm going to talk a little bit about squidding. Now, obviously, uh, my last accident, I did quite a bit of damage to the skin on my knee. Okay, yeah, some of that was puncture wounds and some of that was uh, impact damage, but there was still road rash and I was wearing a pair of chef's trousers and a pair of jeans. And I had the impression that that would give me some protection, which it didn't, which is why I went to get in some like force rider Kevlar jeans. And I mean, I understand it's your own risk, it's your own choice, and, and it is hot. But uh, as they say, it's better to sweat than bleed. And I mean, yeah, okay. I used to say, well, the risk of wearing just normal jeans, you know, if I get a banged up knee, I get a banged up knee, I'll live with it. I didn't actually consider the fact that the banged up knee would still be affecting me to the point I can't kneel on it eight months later. And I, I have to say, I didn't really notice just how many people squid it round here. But I've been out and about today in the heat, and I know it's hot, it's like 30 degrees nearly, and yeah, I'm sweating. But the amount of people on bigger bikes, 600cc, 1000cc bikes, who are going without any protection at all, apart from helmet. Cheers, man. I mean, no gloves. Do you really think your hands are going to deal that well with the road? I mean, I, I, I think, if, put it this way, if you're willing to ride without any leathers on, Think I want you to go on the tarmac and get someone to pull you along a bit. I mean, it's only going to be about a few miles now. Just do it for a couple of feet and see if you get any scratches. You know, then imagine that at like 40 mile an hour with a bike on top of you, possibly. I, th I think it gives a bad signal to maybe new bikers that they think that, that that's the right thing to do, that, you know, it, it's acceptable. You'll probably find, if you're a biker and you, you go somewhere without any gear, you're going to get quite a lot of grief from people. Wear your gear all the time, people. Trust me, it really will save you. You don't want to fuck me like me. I'm only 27 and I can't kneel on my knee because I was wearing jeans and thought that was good enough. And for the people that are like, oh, no, 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 you know, you know, it's fine. It's, it's, it's our choice and everything. Okay, that's fine. That is your choice. I will agree. However, I will say this. I have never seen a squid covered in scars like mine. Do you know why that is? Because no one comes off and scars themselves to fuck like that and causes themselves skin problems, skin grafts, muscle problems, nerve problems, all sorts of damage you can do, and then does it again. If I'm wrong, show me. I want to see people squidding it who are absolutely covered in squidding, you know, road rash. Yeah, but that's just my opinion. I'll catch you next time. Well... I'm glad I didn't leave when I found this little bit. This one's much more fun. I have to duck a lot though. Okay, green lining being tall, not a good idea.